Hello. I've been interested in pyramids and pyramid power for many years, and a lot of years ago, I built a plexiglass pyramid based on the Sheops pyramid in Giza, and I found in rekindling some interest that pyramid planet makes a beautiful set of end pieces that give you the exact uh, measurements and angles for that particular pyramid. And so I decided to go ahead and order it. And it comes very nicely packaged. And it came also very fast through FedEx. The quality is very nice. They have this um, solid copper, which fits one half inch M type copper tubing. They have O-rings on here so that you can slip the pipe in and it gives some friction so that it won't come apart. I'm really excited to set this up. My mother's got me interested in this a long time ago. She always used to use a pyramid and she had a bout with cancer and used her little pyramid to help in overcoming that and swears that it had an effect. So I checked the M type half inch copper tubing and I ended up getting this at Lowell's. I decided to use five foot pieces for the square base of the pyramid. So to measure all the five foot lengths at the same time, I'm just gonna take a T square and be sure that all these are exactly up against that and that it's squared off. Then just take a piece of duct tape and go across these so that it touches each one and holds it in relative position. And then double check this. Those are all butted right up against there. And just to be sure, I'm going to put another piece of duct tape down the way here a little bit just to be sure that these are held in place. And then just double check that they're all squared up on the end. And then measure off the five foot distance. Put a mark right at 60. Use the T-square again. And this time I'll just put a mark on the very top so that it's definitely up against the flat part of the square. So I have a quarter inch piece of plexiglass that I'm laying up against this backing and then a exacto miter box that has a little lip on it. So I'll just put that up against here and that'll hold that tight. And then of course find the marking, set it right in here. I'm gonna use the little clamp they have and to help hold this in a little tighter. And I'm just gonna use a handheld saw, which has like about a 32nd of an inch blade on it. And I think this miter box will hold this straight enough to make a straight cut. Try to keep this blade straight as possible. I'm going to put a small piece of tape around here so I know which ones are cut exactly. Okay, so these are the four base pieces. Just check the square here. Yeah, those came out really good. They're right on. There is a calculator on the web for a pyramid of any size with any angle. And I will put in the 51.83 degrees and then the base. And then it will tell how long the slanted pieces on the edges of the pyramid have to be in order to fit right at the apex. So now I have both corners on. There's one side. And there's the other side. It has to be measured not from the pipe, but from the very, from this edge to the other edge. So measuring that full length, it's 62 and a quarter inches. So after putting that in the calculator, the sloped edge turns out to be 59.2 inches. And that makes it 39.6 inches from the base to the apex of the triangle. One can figure all these calculations out by hand, but this calculator is really great, and I will put a link to that in the description. But the way these fit together, the tubing goes right up against the stop here, and then there's an inch and a half from the stop to the top of the cap. And so since there's the same distance on the base piece, I'll have to subtract three inches from that, and that would give 56.2. As far as the 0.2 inches measuring that, it's 1364. So I'm squaring up the slant pieces. So I'm using the finished end that comes from the store, 
rather than the end that was just cut since it's a little more ragged. Put another piece down the line here just to keep those in the same relative position. So we're now back to the trusty hacksaw. Then we need to cut the four edge lengths and the process is the same for all four. So to deburr the ends of all the pipes, there are a lot of different tools that you can use to do this, but the copper is so soft, you can just take a utility knife to knock off any burrs that are on the inside. And then a rounded file works really well on these half inch pipes for the outside. You can just go around and knock off the sharp edge on the outside of the pipe and hit any burrs that might be on there. And then I'm just taking an old marker, wrapping some flexible sandpaper, and you can use like 150, 220, something like that, and then work around the inside edge until it feels really smooth in there. And then you can still use that to also just go around the edge of the outside. <laughs> And then just check that out so that you feel no burrs on the inside or the outside because that's going to protect your fingers and it's also going to protect the o-ring on the corner pieces so after you've deburred and smoothed all the ends of the pipe pieces you want to be sure that any filings are out of these tubes and what i'm going to do is just take them outside and just push water through them and clean all the debris out so here are all the necessary pieces to construct the pyramid. You have the four corners and then you have the, the top part and then the cap that goes on top of that. And that all comes in the kit. And then the half inch M type pipes with the red marks are for the base pieces. Decided to do that just to make it easier to identify because the pipes are really pretty close in length. And then on the left are the edge pieces. So here's the completed pyramid. The capstone and then there's a crystal underneath. You can see how nicely the corners fit. So with the top piece taken off you can see how nicely all that fits together. And again this turned out to be a 62.25 inch base figuring in the length of the corner pieces. And then length of the edge pieces was 59.2. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please click the link below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. Thanks.